Yanto Rico Hallelujah. Good morning, saints. Welcome to Morning Mana with Apostle J. Jesus is Lord. This is the day that the Lord has made, and surely we are going to be glad and to rejoice in it. Oh, in this, just during this morning, we just want to start with a prayer. Yes, let's just go before God and pray and thank Him and thank Him for His goodness and thank Him for His good hand upon our lives. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you. We worship you. We adore you. We give you honor. We give you praise. We say, blessed be God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. We honor you. We exalt your holy name. We give you honor. We give you praise. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Father, we say thank you. Thank you for life. Father, thank you for preservation. Father, thank you mostly for the cross of Calvary. Father, thank you for the blood of Jesus. Father, thank you for the death and the resurrection yes which you gave us through your son jesus christ so that we can also be part of the commonwealth of god so that we can also be partakers and participators in your in the commonwealth of faith we say thank you we say thank you oh we say thank you we say thank you we give you honor we give you praise in the name of our lord jesus christ father thank you for now we can also say abba father yes because of your grace yes for for great love you've loved us that we are also the sons and daughters of god yes we say thank you we say thank you we are also now part of the commonwealth of god and we can also say papa god in jesus name oh hallelujah we are still talking about the authority in the name the authority in the name, the authority in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And today, 
I wanted to say the authority for salvation. It is important that as believers, as we go around, as we relate to people, we must know that there's no other name except the name of Jesus, which is able to serve, which is able to heal, which is able to deliver. So what am I saying to us this morning? It is, in, it is important for us to comprehend the importance of this name in the salvation of many people you know we live in a world where there are so many religions yes i know today we are praying for souls in our 50 days of missions in our 50 days of prayer and fasting i also just want to emphasize this as we want to see that there is no other way there is no other name where people can be saved except through the name of jesus yes we want to go to the word of god let's just go to scripture I will read the word of God to us as we as, as, as we start. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Let's go to Acts chapter 4, verse 13. Acts chapter 4, verse 13. The Bible says in Acts chapter 4, verse 13, Salvation is found in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given to men which 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 we must be saved there is no other name given to men which we must be saved so it is important for us to know it is important for us to understand as believers that there's no other name where people can be saved there might be many religions out there there might be many beliefs out there but there's only one name the name of jesus which is which is the source of salvation of many which is the source of salvation of many so it is important for us as individual as we walk in this life that there's no other salvation there's no other name except the name of jesus the bible tells us for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life the bible tells us you know you know says he is the way the truth and the life hallelujah if we go to john chapter 14 verse 16 verse 6 i think says i am the way i am the truth i am the life no one ex can come to the father except through me so salvation the only way to salvation the only way to redemption is through the name of the lord jesus christ so it is important as believers to know the importance of this name for us to be saved we saved in his name we are saved and redeemed in his name oh hallelujah glory to jesus hallelujah and we must know that all oh, have sinned all oh, have sinned everyone on this earth have sinned and we need salvation we need the good news of the lord jesus christ for us to have salvation hallelujah we live in a world where there are so many religions we live in a in a, in the world where there are so many beliefs but we have to understand that there is only one salvation despite religions despite churches despite whatever people do together things in the spirit the only name and the only salvation for many kind is in the name of the lord jesus christ so it is important for us as believers to know that we have to preach the gospel we have to tell people about the salvation which is in the name of our lord jesus christ oh can i have an amen from somebody under the sound of my voice so it's a mandate it's your mandate it's my mandate that we have to make sure that people come to the knowledge of our lord jesus christ that people come to the knowledge of our lord jesus christ oh can i have a better amen somebody hallelujah as we know as the bible says you know you know you know that you know you know in the beginning i mean in the beginning was the word 
the word was with God, the word was God, and the word dwelt among us. That John is the book of John. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. And in the beginning, what this word is re referring to the Lord Jesus Christ, he is the one who was from the beginning. He is the one who came to save us. He is the one who is the source of salvation. He is the one who is the source of light. So it is important for us to know and to understand that we have to make sure that people has to be served in this name which is in the name of which is in the name the of, of the lord jesus christ hallelujah the bible tells us that all had sinned and that fall short of the glory of god that romans chapter 3 verse 23 it says all had sinned so it is important for us to know that all had sinned and that fallen short of the glory of of God, but God sent himself in the form of his word, in the form of his son, so that we can be sinned. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. So when we talk about sin, it's not what you did. You know, yesterday, it was a nature, as we all know, which we received because of the sin of the man, first man, Adam. The Bible says, through one man, Adam, death ended, but through one, salvation came. So it is important for us that uh, through the sin of Adam, all the world, I will say people, it doesn't matter how many billions your boss have, if they don't have Jesus, no matter what they look outside, they are destined to death. It doesn't matter, it's your mom, it's your dad, it's your cousin, it's your friend, no matter how they are good to you. You know, salvation is more than goodness. Salvation is the soul, it's about the soul. If translating people from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of his dear sons, hallelujah, as the Bible says, that we have been translated we have been transported we have been translated from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of his dear son what am i saying this morning for us to be saved for us to be in the ark of life for us to have eternal life salvation is mandatory so there's no other name which anyone can be saved out of if you love anyone if you love your husband if you love your friend if you love your cousin if you love your neighbor if you like anyone around you, we have to tell them about Jesus. The Bible says he is the way, the truth, and the life. And no one can come to the Father except him. And the Bible says there is no other name except the name of Jesus. There is no other name except the name of Jesus. That name we said yesterday, we prayed through when we are praying. Now we are talking about salvation yesterday we talked about that the bible says if you ask anything in my name i'll do it now the bible is telling us today that there is no other name where men can be saved in except the name of jesus so when you're talking about salvation we have to confess that jesus is lord that's why we always say when we're doing the sinner's flesh prayer if you believe in your heart the Bible says in the book of Romans, you know, salvation, your salvation is near you, even in your mouth, that if you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord, you shall be saved. That Jesus Christ is Lord, you shall be saved. Yes, through our confession, through our beliefs, we have to be saved. So it is important for us to know that if we want people around us, yes, to have eternal life, we have to minister the Lord Jesus to them and we have to make them do the sinner's prayer. We don't have to wait for our pastors. We don't have to wait for the famous evangelists. We don't have to wait for the leaders, the cell leaders. We ourselves have to be agents of salvation because there's no other name which men can be saved for with except the name of Jesus. Oh, glory to Jesus. If we go to Romans, you know, you know, if, 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 we, if we go to the, to, let me just go down again. Hallelujah, glory to Jesus. Hallelujah, glory to Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. Revelations chapter 20, verse 11 to 15. Revelations chapter 20, verse 11 to 15. What does the Bible say? Oh, glory to Jesus, glory to Jesus. It says, then I saw, then I saw a great white throne and him and him who was seated on it, earth and sky fled from his presence, and there was no, there was no, there was no place for them. 
And I saw the dead, the great, the small, standing before the throne. And the book was opened. Another book was opened, which is the book of life. The dead were judged according to what they had done, according to, to the book. If, they, if anyone's name was not found written in, in the book of life, he was thrown in the lake of fire. If anyone was not found in the book of life, he was thrown in the lake of fire. My brothers, my sister, the reason why we say there's no other name, the reason, this is more important. My brothers, my sister, this life we are living in, in the flesh, is shorter than the life which you live after. Oh, we are going to have a life after. Whether you are born again or not born again, the Bible says there is a life after. But if your life is in the book of life, if you are born again, you enjoy eternal life. You enjoy the way in the presence of God. If your life you are not born again, you'll be thrown in the lake of fire. So what am I saying? Jesus came so that he can conquer death. Yes, that's why the Bible, death, you know, you know, you know death, where is your sting? Jesus conquered death when he was from the throne. He went to hell. He caught the keys of death and the keys of life. And he rose again. And now he's seated on the cross of Calvary for you and me. Why? He conquered death. He conquered eternal death. Now we have got life in Christ. But it's a choice as we receive Christ Jesus through the name of Jesus. So it is important for us to take it as a matter of urgency to preach Jesus to our to our friends, to preach Jesus to our family, to preach Jesus to the lost world. My God, my God, my God, it's a matter of urgency because if we don't have the Son of Man, we don't have life. Oh, Karizanta, somebody can have all the riches of this world. Somebody can have everything which is in this world. But if we don't have the Son of Man, we are destined to hell. We are destined to, to destruction. What am I saying this morning? We must take it as an urgent thing it was the great commission Jesus gave us he said go ye therefore go ye therefore go ye therefore in the nations and what make disciples you know make disciples of many baptizing them in my in, in my in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit yes we were given the great commission to go and win souls and it must be one of our major burdens we are not born again just to have cars we are not just born again to have husbands we are not just born just born again to have good lives we are not just going just born again to run away from the devil no 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 my beloved we are born again so that we can perpetuate this name so that we can go you know through i mean we are through with the word of salvation into the world oh glory to jesus glory to jesus hallelujah there is need for the gospel there is need for sinners to be preached to there is need for us to go with the gospel because there is only one name which people can be saved unto not any other name not any other name of a great pastor a great teacher a great apostle a great prophet no 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 there's one name the name of jesus when we gather people around may we take the tell them about that name when we fellowship with people may we tell them about that name oh hallelujah glory to jesus glory to jesus hallelujah so jesus is the only self savior of the world jesus is the only savior of the world it doesn't matter what other people are saying other religion he is the only savior he said i am the way the truth and the life john 14 verse 6 i am the way i am the truth and the life he declared it himself he is the way he is the truth and he is the life so all other religions are not so glory to jesus glory to jesus Oh, hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. So as believers, we have to pray. As believers, we have to seek God because we live in a world where there are different gods, where there are different religions, where there are different beliefs, and the beliefs are increasing in these end days. But we have to know, we have to be stable, knowing that the only salvation is in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. There's only one salvation in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. 
Acts chapter 4, verse 12. Let me reiterate again. Salvation is found no, in no one else either than the name of Jesus, other than the name under heaven given to in, uh, 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 you know, Salvation is found in no, uh, no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given to men which they must be saved. You know, there is no other name. There is no other name. That's why we used to sing a song called There is no other name. So if there is no other name, we must lead people to the right name. We must snatch them from the kingdom of God, darkness. We must direct them to the kingdom of God. Oh, glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. And God wants us to be ambassadors, you know, of salvation. God wants us to be want us to be obedient to this call so that we can give more people to this name so that we can lead more people to the name of jesus oh glory to jesus glory to jesus glory to jesus oh hallelujah hallelujah glory to jesus glory to jesus Oh, hallelujah, glory to Jesus. He wants you and me. He wants us to be agents of his salvation. He wants us to be agents in, for, for salvation. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, hallelujah, glory to Jesus. Let's go to the word of God. Hallelujah, glory to Jesus, glory to Jesus. Hallelujah, glory to Jesus. If we go to Romans chapter 10, verse 14 to 15. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. The Bible says, How then can they call on the one who did they do not believe? And how can they believe in whom who they have not heard? And how can they hear without someone preaching to them? And how can they preach unless they ascend? As it is written, How beautiful is the foot of him who brings good news. So it is important for us as believers, it is important for us to know and understand that if there is a name, there's somebody who is supposed to take that name to the nation. If there is a name, there's somebody who is supposed to take that name to families. We're supposed to take that name to cities. We're supposed to take that name to villages. We're supposed to take that name to, pro- to, to, to prisons. We're supposed to take that name to different nations of the earth. And it is us. The Bible says, go ye therefore and make disciples of many. If we go to the Great Commission, it's us who were mandated, you know, by the Lord Jesus Christ. It's the mandate for you and me to go ye to go ye to go ye to go to go that in his name in his name will go and do the work of the ministry so what am i saying you know salvation and preaching jesus and talking about the name it's not for the pastor it's not for the apostle it's not for the deacons it's not just for those who got born again a hundred years ago it's our mountain for all of us is the mandate for all of us the bible says may you know you know you know you know you know you know you know, you know, you know, you know the bible talks about uh, 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 about many we are in the valley of decisions and what are we supposed to do with them it's you and me we're supposed to go out there and win those souls oh glory to jesus we want to say this morning as we go around let's know that the mounted the mounted to win souls it's our mounted it's not a special mandate for a special few it's for, for all of us People are there in the valley of decisions. Yeah, we are not born again. They might not look happy. They might look happy. They might look better than you. But you are the best person if you have got Jesus. I don't care how many billions they have. If they don't have Jesus, they are destined to destruction. They doesn't matter. They drive you walk. If they don't have Jesus, they are destroyed. They are they are they are they are they are they are boomed for destruction. What am I saying this morning? It is important for us to see the greatness of this salvation to see the greatness of this mandate it's our mandate it's the only name it's an exclusive name there is no other name except the name of jesus hallelujah as we go in our lives on the last day what god is going to ask us how many souls did we bring to the kingdom how many people did we lead to christ it's the greatest man mandate that's why he went and he sent us another one who looks exactly 
Ezekiel like him a lost planet traitors, the Holy Spirit, so that we can do the work of the ministry, so that we can win souls, so that we can bring more souls to the kingdom. Yes, you know, you know, we are supposed to bring more souls. We are supposed to bring more souls. The Bible says in the book of Acts, he said they were they were told, Tarry ye until we are endured with power from on high. When they were endured with on power from on high, in the book of Acts, they are Apostles, they, they went about, you know, winning souls. People were added daily in the church. Souls were being won. There was joy in the city. Yo, the, our mandate, our vision is to take the power of God to the nations. Yes, and God has given us the Holy Spirit. We don't have any excuses. We want to say, Lord, as there's no other name, there's no other option. If anyone dies without Jesus, they have they are, they are, they are, they are, they are died unto destruction. It's our mandate. It's your mandate. It's your duty as an individual that we go together and we win souls. Oh, can I have a better amen from the church? Oh, hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Mm. Oh, hallelujah. So it is important for us to make sure that we have to stand in the word. It is important for us to make sure to know that God wants people saved. Salvation is giving people the Lord Jesus Christ. Salvation is making people do the sinner's prayer and they are translated their lives to the kingdom of God. If we go to Isaiah chapter 49 verse 9. Isaiah chapter 49 verse 9. The Bible says, hallelujah, it is too small a thing to you to be my servant, to restore the tribe of Jacob and bring back those of Israel I have kept. I will also make, make you a light for the gender that you may bring salvation to the end of the earth. I will make you also a light for the Gentiles. Isaiah 49 verse 9. I will also make you a light to the dead genders. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Make a light for the gender. I will also make you a light for the genders. Oh, glory to Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Let's go to Revelation chapter 5, verse 9. Revelation chapter 5, verse 9. What does it say? With your blood you purchased men for God from every tribe every language, every people, every nation. With your blood, you purchase people by your blood from every tribe, from every language, from every people, from every nation. My brothers, my sister, it is the desire of God that every language, every tribe, every people, every nation come to the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says, though we're alienated to God, but now we are part of the kingdom of God. Yes. As we go around that name, God wants it to be in all the land. God wants it to be in all the nations. God wants it to be in all the cities. Yes, there's no salvation in any other name. The best brand in this world is the brand Jesus. Because I know you do branding. I know you do marketing. I want to tell somebody under the sound of my voice, the best brand, the brand without competition, the brand without imitation. They can imitate, but the imitation who ever fell the one brand which has got a market monopoly is the brand of the name Jesus but we need to go with that brand all over the world wherever there are people the brand Jesus must go there there is the name which is above every name there's a superior name at the mention of that name every knee bows not only will he save people it will deliver them from weakness it will deliver them from disease it will deliver from all the grips of the enemy that that's one thing the devil stolen from the church that we go to church just to get and receive it. But why God wants us? He wants us to, in, to bring more sons and daughters to him through salvation. Yes, salvation has come through his name. So we must know it's the only name which we have. We must know that we have to eat our mantle every day that we win more people to the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Salvation, salvation, salvation in this name. The only salvation is in his name. Let's go to Revelation chapter 7, verse 9 to 10. It says, Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Le Zabrana. He says, I looked and there before me was a great multitude. 
and no one could count. There was a great multitude and no one could count. There was a great multitude and no one could count. I want you to, to take mark of that. There was a great multitude and no one could count for every nation, for every tribe, for every people, for every language standing before the throne and in front of the land. And they cried out with a loud voice, Salvation belongs to our God who seated on the throne and to the Lamb. Salvation belongs to our God. What am I saying? There are tribes waiting for us there. There are people waiting for us there. There are people in different languages waiting for us there. Yes, so I want to encourage us. Yes, as a people, that why don't we all we give ourselves to the work of the ministry? You don't need to be ordained. You don't need to be called in a full-time ministry. When you get an opportunity on your social media platform, an opportunity in your workplace, an opportunity when you drop your kids to school and your opportunity when you're in a queue you know somewhere at the bank in a queue somewhere maybe whatever you're going around when you meet people let's preach about this Jesus because salvation is only in the name of Jesus salvation is only in the name of Jesus and we must understand may God give us understanding there's nothing else which can save except the name of Jesus the final salvation the salvation which you need the newness of life yes the deliverance from all all the things around us, all the other things can be fake, but the true deliverance is in the name of Jesus. Oh, glory to Jesus, glory to Jesus. Yeah, that name, that name which is above every name, I want to encourage us as we go around that we must be proud of this name. Yes, we must not be ashamed of the gospel. Yes, the, the apostle says, I'm not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God unto salvation. I am not ashamed of the gospel. What is the gospel? The gospel is the good news. What is the gospel? The gospel is telling people that in the name of Jesus, you have salvation. So we are not supposed to be ashamed. I am not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God unto salvation. I want everyone I'm here under the hearing of my soul, my voice, to say that I'm not ashamed of the gospel. I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation. The gospel is the power of God unto salvation. Yes, before we go, I want you to raise your hand. I want you to make three prayers. I want you to say, God forgive me for not giving myself to, to perpetuate this name, for not giving myself to winning souls. The second prayer will be, God, help me so that I can go and win souls. The grace to win souls. God, help me so that I can support the work of the ministry, the missions to win souls. God, help me so that we can do the mandate which God has given us to go and win souls. Oh, my brothers, my sisters, if we just leave this world with cars and houses and without souls, we have failed ourselves and we have failed our maker. There's one thing which God can't do. He he can't come and win souls. He left you and me here to win souls. That's why when you got born again, he didn't transfer you to glory immediately so that you can be a fruit and your fruits can very remain. Let's just go because before God and pray, may soul winning be on our call. May we give ourselves to win our neighbors, people around us. There is no other name which people can be saved except the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you. We give you honor. We give you praise this morning. Yes, we pray this morning, knowing that there's no other name where men can be saved in this earth. Lord, forgive us. Yes, for relaxing in this last day, for relaxing and not doing your, the call mandate to win source, not taking the new, the, 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 the commission to win source. Yes, Lord, Father, we pray. Lord, forgive us. Father, thank you for strategy. Father, thank you for energies to win souls, to go out there for boldness, to do the work of the ministry. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, yes, Father, thank you for opening doors for us in our communities, in the nations around us, so that we can win souls. In Jesus' name, good morning, saints. Yes, have a blessed many morning. Let's go and win souls. We've got the Bible mandated us to go 
The Bible says, go ye therefore. Let's go around your community, around your workplace, around your family. Talk to strangers. Jesus is Lord and Jesus is coming soon. But before we talk about his second coming, may we tell him about his first coming, the salvation which he gave to the nations. God bless you and good morning. Tell somebody the name of Jesus. He's higher than cancer. Is higher than heartbreak. Is higher than any disease. Just speak in tongues if you know how to speak in tongues. Get ready to be blessed. His name is powerful. 